Hey everyone, it's Ann Carden here, and I want to talk to you today if you are a business coach, a business strategist, a business service provider about how you can grow your revenue and your income month after month. And I want to break this up actually into three different videos because I'm going to talk about the different stages of growth and what each stage actually can do for you. And if you understand the stages, it's going to be so much easier and faster for you to know what you need to do to reach that next breakthrough or that next level. So I'm talking about building a business where you are making anywhere from 20,000 to 80 or $100,000 a month. That's really what I'm going to speak about and how you can actually make that happen. So first of all, I want you to know the sky is the limit when you understand what I'm going to be teaching and how you can get those big breakthroughs in your business. So you have to understand that there are really different stages in business. And today I'm just going to talk about stage one, what that looks like, what that means. And I'm also going to share with you at what income or revenue level you can kind of expect in each stage as well. So let's get started. Stage one is all about startup. Okay, so stage one is your startup phase or your startup stage. And in the startup stage, you're trying to figure your business out, okay? You're trying to figure out what you're gonna sell. So this is your offers, how those offers are gonna be priced. You're trying to figure out uh, who your ideal clients are. Maybe your, your niche or your niche, however you say it, depending on where you're from. Okay, you are trying to figure out your marketing, what's going to help you attract clients to you. So this is gonna be your message and your strategy. This is where you're trying to get all those marketing pieces in place. And then obviously you have to be able to close sales, right? So also your sales process, maybe even learning how to sell. You're also gaining experience in this phase where you're working with clients. Now you're, you know, you're gonna get some clients and you're gonna work with them and you're gonna start gaining experience and start building your confidence, okay? So this is all stage one in a business. Now, here's what I want you to know. Um, as far as income, it, most people can get to 5,000, 8,000, 10, maybe even $12,000 or $15,000 a month in this stage, okay? If they're doing things in the right way, they can get typically, like I said, five to $15,000 a month in stage one. Here's the problem with not moving into stage two, which video two is gonna talk about stage two and what that looks like. In stage one, guys, what you need to understand is this is still what I like to call the hustle and grind stage, okay? This is the most stressful place to run your business from. And for a lot of coaches and entrepreneurs, they never get out of stage one. And this is why their business never has ease, it never has flow. That's actually stage two, and I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But stage one is all about hustle and grind. It's the most stressful place to run your business. Now, it's also fun because you're launching and you're excited and all of those things. But after a while in stage one, it becomes very frustrating if you don't move from here into stage two. And you're also going to see income levels in this stage fluctuate a lot. So maybe you get your business to where you're making $12,000 a month. Now, if you're doing done for you services, obviously those numbers are going to be higher. But as a coach or as a strategist, you can get your business to maybe, you know, $100,000 a year in this stage. But the problem is it's not really ever going to have an ease and flow. It's going to be stressful. You're always going to be worried about losing a client. When you're at the five to $15,000 a month range, you are one client away from probably being stressed out again. Okay, and so this is not a stage 
in your business that is a place you want to camp out or hang out. And this is what a lot of entrepreneurs and coaches don't understand. They really don't understand these different stages. And it's why they find themselves frustrated or kind of spinning their wheels. And, and so it, when you understand the stages, now you're like, okay, that's what I need to do next to make sure that I can get into that level because that's where things are going to change, okay? So stage one is the hustle and grind stage. You know, I think about one of my clients, Nick. He was a startup. He was launching his business, and he had tried for five or six months to get his business off the ground, and he could not get it going. And it was a problem with his offer. It was a problem with his marketing. It was a problem with the sales process. Those are all the basics of a business, right? And so we restructured his offers. We restructured his marketing, his marketing message, his um, marketing strategy, all of that. We dialed in the sales process. And the result from doing that was he was able to actually get about $80,000 in brand new business, cash, new business, in about six weeks. Now, realistically, that all happened in about a week, but it took us about five weeks to get everything dialed in for him to really get things, you know, where they were positioned in the right way. And then he was able to go in front of his ideal clients. And in about a week, he closed about $80,000 in new business. So here's my question for you. Are you still stuck in stage one and what's holding you back from moving forward? So maybe you're having a problem with your offer. Maybe your offer isn't really dialed in or you're not clear. This is where a lot of times coaches don't have total clarity on what they should be selling or how they should be selling. Maybe their message is off, their marketing is off. These are all startup problems. And until you fix these problems, you are not going to get out of the hustle and grind, okay? You're not going to be able to move forward and get bigger financial leaps in your business or really get your business to a place of ease and flow, which is actually stage two. Stage two is all about rinse and repeat, ease and flow. And I'm going to talk more about that. But I hope this makes sense to you. Stage one is not where you want to camp out. And remember, you're always going to be a client or two away from being back into a stressful situation. So even if you get up here to around you know $15,000 a month and you're like, that's a good level, I feel good at that. The problem with this level is it doesn't give you a lot of money to work with to really keep building your business. It doesn't give you a lot of money to maybe go attend conferences or to put back into your business. If you think about it, if you're going to take about 40 to 50 percent of your what you make and put it back into your business which realistically you should plan on doing if you really want to build a solid stable sustainable business you want to think about 50 percent basically staying in the business so you can you know buy those courses you need or work with that coach that you want or go to that conference you want to go to and the problem is if you break this down and look at this this now becomes 2500 right and this now becomes seven uh, seventy five hundred and if you look at those numbers they're not even a hundred thousand dollars a year and so you have to look at you know taxes coming out and all of those things and so even though fifteen thousand dollars a month might sound like a lot it really isn't going to give you a really sustainable consistent business where you're not in a stressful situation. Because think about it, you lose one client, you might be back down, you know, to a range that, again, you can't maybe pay your bills or you can't do what you need to do in your business. So this is not the place to stay. And too many coaches stay here. They think, oh, if I just get to $15,000 a month or $12,000 a month, or oh, if I just get to six figures a year, that's 83, 33 a month, right? But if you only get to six figures a year, if you think about it, you're really only going to be making four to five thousand dollars a month, and you've got taxes that have to come out of that. So if you look at that, that's really not a high income. Now, obviously, in some places in the world it is, but I'm talking basically, you know, um, the United States, Canada, the UK, Australia. That's not going to be a high income, and it's 
probably not going to give you the stability and the sustainability you want in your company. So I hope you'll tune in for video two where I talk about stage two and what you need to do in stage two. And stage two is where the magic starts to happen in your business and it's where your business really becomes fun. So I'm Ann Carden. I hope this is helpful for you. I look forward to speaking to you again. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.